Hey guys, this is Andy with Bold Grid Support, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to customize the password protected message for your pages and posts in WordPress. I'm going to show you two ways that you can actually do this. The first being a quick custom solution that you can use with code snippets or a child theme, and the second solution with a plugin that gives you a ton of other options. Uh, but first, let's go over how to set a password protected status on a post and see what exactly we're customizing. So up on my screen here, I have this super special post that I used in a previous demonstration. Uh, we're going to use this one as our sacrificial lamb for this. But if I go up here onto this other tab where I have a list of all my posts, let's go ahead and set a password to this. So there's two ways that I can do that. Uh, under quick edit, uh, right down here under password, I can actually type in a password there and that'll set the status once I click update. And then if I want to do it from within the editor, once this pulls up here, I can do it over here on the right under the visibility section. So if I click on edit and then click the bubble for password protected, and then we just put a password in here. I'm going to put a big ugly one in there. And then we're going to hit update. Once that's done, I should be able to refresh my other tab and we should see that password protected screen. Let's see. Bingo, there we go. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and look at all the different ways that we can customize it. So in the article I linked in the description below, we provide a custom code snippet that you can use to customize the password protected screen. I'm going to go ahead and use that as our starting point. Uh, to use this, you would need a custom code plugin such as code snippets or fluent snippets, or you could add it to your child themes functions.php file if you've gone down that route. I'm on Creo, which doesn't work with a child theme, so I'm just going to go ahead and use code snippets. So I already have the snippet copied from the article, so let's just go ahead and add it. Uh, since snippets is activated, I can go over here under snippets and click add new. And we're just going to throw in a title here, so I'm just going to custom password protected screen. And then let's go ahead and add that snippet. So here it is. Uh, I don't necessarily need to make any changes to this just to use it, but the whole point is to customize this. So I'm going to go in here so where it says this is a custom message, and I am just going to say custom message from Andy. And I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and save changes and activate. So now that that's done, when I refresh this page, we should see that custom message that I just created. There we go. This contents, there we go. It's a custom message from me. So if we enter that password that I created for this earlier and click enter, it still works just as the normal one did. But now that we've seen that in action, let's go ahead and take a look at this really interesting plugin that I actually found while doing the research for this video. The plugin that I'll be using for this is this uh, PPWP Password Protect Pages plugin. Uh, I've already gone ahead and downloaded and activated it, but uh, essentially at its base level, it's going to be the same idea as our snippet. It'll allow you to customize that password protected screen. Uh, but it also comes with a ton of other features. But real quick, let's go ahead and just take a look at what we're doing here. So one big benefit is that you can actually make those changes that we did with the snippet in the customizer. Uh, so as this comes in, once this loads up, we'll actually see some menus for those password protected pages. Just got to give it a second to load in here. There we are. So it's still loading in, but we can see that the menu's populated and we have more menu options down here. Sorry if my head's covering some of them. But let's see. Let's see if we can get this to load so that we can jump in and take a look at what those options entail. Cool. So we're going to do the single password form. And then under password form, let's go ahead and just change some of the text like we did before. So in here, we can do all kinds of things. We can change some style settings. Uh, you can add your own custom headline and description. Uh, and you can change things like how the button presents or how it prompts you for the password. So just to make a similar change as I did with the snippet, I'm going to go ahead and put 
in let's see just add a new line here oop, oop. so I'm just adding in a line that says this is a custom message from Andy and then I'm just gonna publish those changes now on our super special post that we had set to password protected once I reload it we should see this message pop up instead beautiful there it is but uh, this plugin does actually have a lot of extra features and a lot of really cool benefits that I'm not going to cover here today. Uh, so some of its other benefits are it has like the ability to bypass this password prompt based on roles. So you can set things to, you know, if, if you're logged in as the admin, you don't have to put in a password. Uh, it also has the ability to access the protected content without the need to refresh the page. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that real quick. Let me see if I still have that password that we set on there. But once I hit enter, yeah, there we go. So it'll just reload in without reloading the page. Uh, it also has the ability to do section protection, which I had a ton of fun with. You can do uh, like those password prompts on specific parts of a page rather than the whole page. But uh, I'd definitely love to do a follow-up video on some of those features if anybody's interested. Comment below if you are. But I hope you guys found this demonstration helpful and informative. If you have any questions or if you want to know more, feel free to leave a comment below or head over to our support forums and other resources at boldgrid.com support. Thanks for watching.